Hi, I am Masaru Okawara, a PhD candidate at Keio University. Today, I'd like to talk about our educational material to experience GPU path tracing in online courses. At first, I will introduce the background that we intended to develop the educational material. Computer graphics and computer vision have become increasingly closely related to each other, and these ideas are often called visual computing as a general term. In light of this trend, Keio University, Department of Information and Computer Science, reorganized one CG course and one CV course into visual computing 1A, 1B, and 2 in the 2019 academic year. These are the first courses on visual computing for third and fourth year undergraduate students in computer science. They take one year to cover fundamental to advanced visual computing topics systematically. These are the course setup for visual computing 1A, 1B, and 2. As you see here, visual computing 1A and 1B focus on fundamentals of 2D and 3D processing, while visual computing 2 focuses on more advanced topics. Blue and green colors indicate the lectures which are mainly related to CG and CV, respectively. The numbers of CG and CV lectures are balanced in the courses because almost the CG and CV topics are closely tied to each other. On top of that, Visual Computing 2 involves two assignments, each focused on CG and CV. This is the main topic of my talk today. The CG programming assignment has two goals to experience general purpose computing on GPU, also known as GPGPU, and to understand path tracing. GPGPU has a big impact on visual computing. In computer graphics, GPGPU has been applied to animation and rendering for substantial improvement in interactivity. While in computer vision, high-speed and high-precision object detection and high-definition scene estimation were realized because deep learning became more practical with the advent of GPU. GPGPU is most likely to continue to lead visual computing innovation, so experiencing GPGPU is beneficial for all computer science students, we believe. As you know well, Path tracing is a de facto standard method for offline photorealistic rendering. In 2018, NVIDIA released the GeForce RTX series GPU and brought the innovation of real-time light tracing to the gaming industry. According to game graphics roadmap anticipated by NVIDIA, the base rendering algorithm move from rasterization to path tracing in the gaming industry by 2035. The roadmap forecasts the movie and gaming industries will be integrated in terms of rendering. Therefore, it is expected that understanding path tracing helps every student envision the future CG area. To this end, GPU path tracing was elected at the theme of the CG programming assignment. I acted as the chief developer for the assignment as a teaching assistant for the courses. Here, we are faced with an issue about development environment. That is, not all the students have the devices which are suitable for GPU path tracing. What they have are only standard laptop PCs tablets, and or smartphones. And these devices are not executed to learn GPU path tracing because of their hardware dependencies. Well, 
What about using the campus workstations? It has not been recommended because the campus workstations are for every student, so a large number of specific students should not occupy them for high load computation at the same time. Finally, we came up with the cloud native solution. Cloud native systems take who advantages of the cloud service model. That is, local machine can leverage the cloud computing power. Doing this makes it possible to experience GPU path tracing on an expensive hardware, such as standard laptop PCs, tablets, or even smartphones. To construct a cloud native system, we actually chose Google Collaboratory as our underlying development environment. Google Collaboratory, also known as Colab, is an interactive development environment provided by Google, and it has three remarkable features. Zero configuration required, free access to GPUs, and easy sharing. That is, by building educational material on Colab, students can easily experience GPU path tracing even on inexpensive hardware. This is a schematic diagram to show our educational material system, which consists of students' local machine and Google Cloud endpoint, and works by forming the rendering group between the local machine and the cloud. The cloud renderer samples the scene based on the received pointer events from the local machine and sends back the rendered image which is compressed into JPEG or PNG and is encoded base64 to the local machine in the JSON format. The local machine displays the rendered image received from the crowd and sends back the pointer events if they are generated. Students can interactively experience GPU path tracing in the rendering group with their intervention. The strengths of this educational material are that all the students need is a browser and no need for a high-performance machine. On the other hand, the weaknesses are that network environment is vital and its efficiency may be sensitive to network bandwidth. However, fortunately or unfortunately, the number of homes that install a standard network environment has increased as telecommuting and online courses have received greater attention during the COVID-19 pandemic. So it was indeed not a critical issue. Let's see how it works in practice. This is a live demonstration recording. All elements of the educational material are packed into one notebook file on Colab. Note that this notebook file is available in the link from here. To begin with, the local machine connects to the cloud endpoint. After it connects, all the cells are executed in order. The GPU path tracer in the cloud is using OpenGL, so an OpenGL context is being made here and several processes needed to use OpenGL are executed. The processes on the front-end side are also executed. And finally, the rendering loop between the local machine and the crowd is formed. The rendered image is shown here. On the area of this image, the pointer events are being listened, and the virtual camera moves based on that event. If the pointer events are not generated, the renderer continues to sample the scene, and the noise of the image gets reduced. This takes only like one minute. Such rapid introduction is beneficial for educators because the lecture time is limited. In addition, this easy usage is also beneficial for the students to focus on the assignments.
Now I will show you the assignments examples in the 2019 academic year and the 2020 academic year. In the two academic years, two kinds of assignments, material design and noise analysis, were given to the students. Material design is literally the assignment that students design the materials. The students are assigned to implement the meter surface material and the grass surface material based on the formulae to govern for reflection on meter surfaces and for reflection on grass surfaces, respectively. These formulations were taught in the lecture prior to the assignment. Noise analysis is an essential task for understanding the path tracing algorithm. The students are assigned to generate images whose number of samples per pixel is different and analyze the relationship between sampling and noise. These charts illustrate the distributions of the students' scores. The students worked on both these assignments well, as expected, and the half of the students scored 90% or more points regarding the total scores. Especially in the 2020 academic year, there were many self-motivated students who took advanced topics voluntarily. Let me introduce only two examples here. One is to use texture mapping for aged scene, and the other is next event estimation, which is one of the sampling optimization methods. Regarding ladder, mesh rendering, and lighting with area right, were also implemented. This fact empirically proves that the educational material was flexible for extension. We would also like to prove that the crowd-based educational material was useful. From the 2019 academic year to the 2020 academic year, all the students could use educational material on their own devices without any troubles. The tablet shown at the bottom of this slide is an example of unsuitable devices for GPU pass tracing. In fact, the competing educational materials such as playground and shader toy cannot run on this kind of devices due to the hardware dependencies. Note that these two competing educational materials are using local machines GPU for computing. However, our educational material can learn even on such devices owing to the cloud computing power. It is unfortunate that the coronavirus continues to affect education for quite some time. Visual computing courses may be particularly affected because they basically involve specific hardware and software. Even if in such difficult situation, we believe that our educational material will keep the quality of education. In conclusion, we developed an effective educational material of CG education in the time of pandemic. The educational material is for third and fourth year undergraduate students in computer science, but visual computing novices. The most salient point is that Educational material built on Google Collaboratory and free leverages cloud computing power. Doing this makes it possible to experience GPU pass tracing on an expensive hardware at home. Furthermore, the educational material takes only like one minute to show the first view of the rendered image. This fact helps educators' rapid introduction and increases students' motivation for self-learning. Fortunately, it has decided that our educational material will be used at Keio University also in the subsequent academic years. We would like to continue to sophisticate the educational material and further consider its more effective usage. We would like to thank our sponsor. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Now we are happy to take your questions online.